Guys, what is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel today. So what I'm going to be bringing you guys is something a little bit different for today's second upload. If you haven't seen earlier's video, which is going to be my 8,000 subscribers video, make sure you guys go and check that one out. I'm sure you will enjoy it a lot. Uh, that would be great if you could check it out. And this is going to be my top five reasons why EA are the worst company in gaming, in my opinion. Uh, and obviously I'm going to be showing you guys the different reasons why. I'm sure most of you can, or maybe all of you can relate to pretty much every single one of them. Because I'm sure most of you guys all play FIFA a lot. It's a different concept than just doing a TOTS cancelled video. Let me know what you think by smashing a like if you do enjoy it. Let me know down in the comment section what you think. And I'll see you guys next time. Let's kick things off with reason number five. And my reason number five is going to be EA's shitty maintenance. So every single time there is a maintenance, if you guys, well I'm sure you all know, EA decide that they want to extend it. When price ranges came into the game, they extended it about two times uh, and it was over a day until it was done. Every time they do it, if they say that it ends, you can see on the screen as an example, at 12pm UK, it usually doesn't end till about six hours after. That's going to be number five. It's really, really annoying as you guys know, but trust me, there are a lot more reasons why EA are the shittest company. Reason number four is going to be EA's shit servers, as you guys know, not just on this FIFA, but every other FIFA. The people who run EA Sports FIFA as a company must be mentally retarded not to invest in this servers. As you guys know, this year we've been disconnecting from matches left, right and centre, which is just ridiculous for a game that you pay £50, £40 for, plus you're spending loads of money on FIFA points. Not just that, we've got you can't even search for players in the transfer market, players stuck in your trade pile, the list is just endless. So coming in now at method number three and reason number three is going to be EA delaying the web app at the start of the game. If you guys remember from the start of the game, EA were incapable of bringing out the web app on time and this is just ridiculous we know how bad they are for delaying things like I said with the maintenance but it was supposed to come out on a Wednesday and I think it came out over a week late they kept delaying it they didn't give us updates at times and then when it did come out nobody could get on it luckily I personally managed to get on it and stay on it I did not close the tab because otherwise I knew I'd be stuck off it uh, it was so slow it's unbelievable like we it usually is slow but this year nobody could get on it uh, and it was just absolutely ridiculous and that's going to be method number three reason number two for me is going to be ea delaying team of the season so they've done things like delay the web app or just can't be asked to do it but this is taking it to another level so now ea have decided to make up some excuses to why team of the season hasn't come out let me just get this up you might hear me clicking i want to read this and show it you guys you can see they say they want to make uh, this year most exciting year for fifa ultimate team uh, and obviously they say team of the season is the most exciting time of the year um, but you can say, see, the delaying team of the season until they can make some uh, important changes in the next few weeks. That means team of the season might not even be out for a few weeks, which is just ridiculous. So not only are they doing that, they're bringing out some other things. They're bringing out play to honor player of the year, club promotion and relegation battle heroics. So they're bringing out other things to FIFA. So they can, they're happy to bring out other cards now, even though the market's fucked. But they won't bring out team of the season, so really they're kind of contradicting themselves. So let me know what you guys think about that one, but that is just taking it to another level. And coming in at number one for the final reason why EA or the shittest company is going to be price ranges. So I know I'm going to get people in the comment section saying, well, they can now buy Fabregas. I don't give a shit whether you can buy Fabregas. Price ranges are the worst thing that has happened to this game. I'm sure 99% of you guys agree with me. It's literally ruined the game. Nobody plays it anymore. Um, and they've basically fucked over the people that have kind of made their game what it is, YouTubers, um, as you guys know. And I'm not doing this because, I'm not saying this because I had a coin sponsor because I didn't have a coin sponsor. I've never had a coin sponsor on this FIFA whatsoever, so you can't give that a reason to why I want price ranges gone. Um, it's, just, it's just made the game less fun for me. Like, before, even if I couldn't afford the more expensive players, which I couldn't afford Ronaldo, I still enjoyed the game and it was just so much more fun in general. Uh, because an open transfer market is just it's what formed the game. So price ranges for me is going to be the, uh, the final reason. Because yeah, they just didn't think it through. They're so dumb. Like with the fact that all the players are extinct on the market, they've not finally come to come to a conclusion to why uh, they're going to be delaying tots is because of obviously uh, that the players will all be extinct. So they finally worked that one out. Well done, they yeah, you've worked something out yourself. Um, but basically, price ranges, as we know, is the worst thing that's happened to the game. They are so dumb not to think 
well, there's other ways around it by fixing the coin glitch. Like, this is only, it's not even going to fix getting rid of the coin glitch. It hasn't gotten rid of the coin glitch, so I just don't understand it. Anyways, I don't, I don't really want to make, uh, make this one as a rant. But that's going to be it for reason number one, guys. If you did enjoy the video, let me know down in the comment section if you did. Uh, it's just something a little bit different. I thought I would do it. It was a little bit of a funny video. If you did enjoy it, drop a like. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Again, thank you so much for 8,000 subscribers. But that is all I've got, guys. And I'll see you tomorrow for some more videos.